Uh, today we have uh, Nandan Irakani with us and uh, would be great to hear from you more about how DPI is, has evolved and is impacting the various parts of the economies. So to begin with, uh, Nandan, would be great if you can talk about uh, what are DPIs and what, le what led to their em uh, emergence? Well, DPI stands for Digital Public Infrastructure. And essentially, it means creating some essential digital rails for the economy and then allowing market innovation to flourish on top of that. Each DPI does something very simple, like one task. Aadhaar the ID does only identity, UPI does only payments and so on. And then you did do it for the whole population to use. So make it very inclusive, make it very low cost, mm -hmm. make it f have billions of transactions and then open it up with interfaces so that anybody can build applications on top of it. Could you throw some more light about what has been the impact of Aadhaar and UPI? And maybe if you can also ask that, how did you really think about these uh, uh, DPIs when, I mean, because looking back, it looks pretty simple. But uh, when you initially thought about them, how did the overall idea really came, come back? Sure. Well, it all began in uh, 2009 when I was uh, offered the job of the chairman of the then incipient UIDAI, which was tasked with the goal of giving a unique ID to every Indian. The task was just that. I had to figure out how to do it. Uh, so we, we got together a crack team of people from the public and the private sector. I joined the government for four and a half years. We built this platform and we built it to give an online digital ID, which could be verified anywhere online. And that was a very simple ID, but at scale. And today, as you know, 1.3 billion people have it. And they use it 80 million times a day for authentication for various tasks. So that was the ID part of it. And the ID also led to a KYC, a know your customer, mm -hmm. which is required to open a bank account or to get a mobile connection. So the other eKYC, electronic KYC, then accelerated both banking inclusion uh, with programs like the Jandan Yojana program of the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. as well as uh, telecom inclusion. And within you know about seven, eight years, almost every Indian had an ID, a mobile phone, and a bank account. And that then laid the foundation for other things. It would be good to really uh, understand from you on how the private sector is leveraging it and the kind of impact which uh, DPIs had on their business models as well. Well, I think the private sector has been a huge uh, beneficiary of uh, these platforms. For example, EKYC allowed the rise of uh, small banks, new banks, new payment banks, they could all rapidly do customer acquisition with EKYC. Similarly, EKYC in the mobile industry, you know, led to the growth of Geo, which is now such a huge company. Uh, then the UPI platform of uh, payments was enabled companies like PhonePay and Google Pay to use uh, payment rails. Uh, and so there are many other examples. So I think we have uh, companies in different sectors, all of, our, all of whom are using some of these rails. For example, there's an insurance company called Digit Mm -hmm. which uses all these rails and that's you know has a you know is a multi-billion dollar valuation so essentially the company that have used these rails to accelerate uh, customer acquisition to deliver service at scale digitally remotely have all benefited greatly from it the other question is about how can corporates leverage dpis more effectively from what they've already done through the uh, the other validations as well as upi transactions apart from that do you see that uh, in coming times, there are other ways that corporates could be leveraging DPIs for a larger growth and business model. Sure. You know, Aadhaar and UPI are relatively uh, quite mature. Mm -hmm. They already do like UPI does 10 billion transactions a month. But there are many new emerging uh, things emerging. Mm -hmm. ONDC is a good example, Open Network of Digital Commerce. That's now doing a few million transactions a month, mm -hmm. both in commerce and mobility. That will fundamentally re re reconstruct e-commerce and mobility in this country. Then we have the AI for Bharat and Bhashini program. Hmm. which will essentially make natural la Indian language very easy to access through voice commands. So it completely change the whole country. Then there's the account aggregator system, hmm. uh, which will allow individuals to use their own data to get access to credit or other services. So there'll be a revolution in credit enabled by account aggregators. Uh, so I think, and there are many other things that are happening. Uh, for startups, which are really thinking of the new ideas and uh, start uh, bringing the DPI very early in their thought process when they are really thinking of a business model. How can we really accelerate the second part where uh, early stage startups can think of the DPI early on in their uh, business models and start building things around it? No, I think that's a great idea, great uh, point. And I think now increasingly we have realized the importance of uh, market making with DPIs. We always, when we build the DPIs, our intention was to you know make sure that there's market access but now it's becoming much more organized. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, people like ONDC are creating events, hackathons for companies to come in 
Uh, so is uh, Sahamati is doing that for the account aggregated ecosystem. Idea is to bring people in to mm -hmm. let them, you know, figure out what's happening. And then there are VCs also coming in. Antler, for example, has set up a dedicated ONDC fund. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they were recently telling me that the number of companies applying under that fund far exceeds their expectation. Wow. So clearly, I think now all the pieces are there. There's the tech, the interfaces, the venture money, the, you know, the, the possibility of what is, and you know, people have seen the track record, so they, mm -hmm. they believe that this will lead somewhere. So I think we'll be seeing an acceleration of uh, startups mm -hmm. who use the various infrastructure that we have. Growth challenges in small cities that uh, small ticket sizes has been something which they have not been able to crack at. Uh, any suggestions or ideas where you believe that uh, DPI uh, can really help them find a solution to some of these challenges? Well, I think DPIs, first of all, are at population scale, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole idea for DP DPI is that everybody should be able to participate. Second, it should be at very low cost. Mm -hmm. It should be very small transactions. Mm -hmm. So all these actually play to what you want, which is that as you branch out and go to different income strata, even small value transactions. The uh, UPF, for example, today has 250 million, uh, 350 million users. Hmm. It has 50 million merchants who hmm. take payments with UPI, and it has 10 million transactions a month. Hmm. So the vegetable sender, the coconut vendor on the street, he or she is also taking UPI. Hmm. So the very fact that you made it so inexpensive, in fact, free and low, low small transaction is hmm. why. So I think if, when you think about creating a market beyond the top. 20, 30 million people who buy things on, you have to think like that. So right. in fact, DPI thinking also has a bearing on how companies think at population scale. And Geo is a great example. I think Geo said we want to create a mobile network for every Indian and dramatically cut costs and hmm. made voice free and data cheap. So that's the way to really crack the, these big markets. Hmm. Got it. Well, thank you very much, Nandan. And I hope you've gone through the report, which has uh, impact of uh, DPI on India and beyond. Any uh, Final words on that before we uh, end this. I think it's an excellent report because I think, uh, you know, people haven't fully realized that the DPI ecosystem is actually fueling market innovation and value creation and, and you know, new energy startups, incumbents getting challenged and so on. So I think this report is very helpful in understanding that. So thanks for doing the report. Thank you very much, Nandan. Thank uh, you. Pleasure.